I can tell you from my own personal experience that it is called the American dream, not French, not English, not Korean dream, because there is no other place in the world that gives every citizen the opportunity to achieve success through their own hard work, determination, and personal initiative. I was born in South Korea. My parents were both educators. We didn't have a lot of money, but my parents were very intensely focused on helping us build our future. My father always told me that there is nothing I couldn't do that a next door boy could do because I was a girl. I was able to dream big from very early on. In fact, I wanted to go to America and get my education and pursue my dream. A lot of people ask me what it was like to land in America where I didn't speak the language, I didn't understand the custom, I didn't understand the system, how the society worked. But I have to tell you, it was exhilarating. I was fearless. I had a plan to achieve my goal to one day become CEO of a company. So I think sort of a, a planned approach. Uh, today, I'm a founder and CEO of a very successful health IT company called Cognoscente. We provide some of the technology and, and business solutions for healthcare organizations. Thank you. I am also the majority owner of the Washington Spirit which is a women's professional soccer team based in Washington, D.C. Spirit! Looking at where I am today, it may look like it's been smooth sailing, but I have to tell you that I have had my share of adversity. I was diagnosed with breast cancer over 20 years ago and it was gonna be my fight to get back to my world. I felt that I had a lot more to accomplish and I wasn't gonna let anything stop me. So as Winston Churchill famously said, if you're going through hell, keep going. I wanna thank Ambassador Bonnie Malcolm Hunter for nominating me for this incredible honor. Other than my parents, she has influenced me and my life the most. I'm truly blessed to call her my mentor, friend, sister. Thank you, Bonnie. Becoming a member of the Horatio Alger Association is an honor I never dreamed of achieving. In fact, my parents would be very proud of their little girl being included in this most distinguished group of American leaders.